Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Dom from Lens Pro to Go and Lens Rentals and welcome back to the channel. So I'm super excited for today's video because it's the first video in a new series I'm launching called my Local Creator Series. So in this series, I'm going to be asking local professionals what gear do they use and how does it help them tell their stories? So I'm really excited that this is gonna be the first video in the installment because I'm here at Windy Films in East Boston and I'm talking to the head of their camera department, Colby Tedisco, who also happens to be a friend of mine. So Colby's gonna show me around the studio and and then I'm gonna take some BTS of a shoot that they're doing right now. And then Kobe and I are gonna have a chat about the studio space, all the awesome work that they're doing, and of course, the Sony Venice. So let's go. Yes, so this studio, it was first a old firehouse. One of the partners, Trip Clemens, his father, um, Clint Clemens, he's a very uh, well-known and renowned photographer. Yeah. He came in and basically turned this whole building into an insane photo studio with the grid in the ceiling. Um, and he was basically an inventor. He built this gantry system where it was all on uh, remote operated. It all had um, these DC powered motors that ran this huge gantry um, across the studio. Like you could do uh, left, right, up, down, and like you had full control. And then um, he left the studio and and it became a practice space for Aerosmith. Um, and yeah, the, no, yeah Aerosmith, Aerosmith played here. And then Skanska, they took over the space yep. and they put in like a bunch of drop ceilings and made it into like more of an office space. Yeah. And then the three partners, uh, they came in here and demolished all of it. And yeah. they, got rid of, they got rid of the drop ceilings. They um, revealed the crazy grid and gantry system that yeah. you have set up and, uh, and we finally because of COVID, got around to motorizing yeah. it. Harvey and I both led that charge and it has uh, been an amazing um, success. <laughs> just yeah. because it's just so, it's so good to see it finally done after oh God, years. Yeah. Like I've been, we've been talking about motorizing this thing since I got here two and a half years ago. Yeah. So how far have we really come? Like we're yeah. doing the exact same thing yeah. that we're doing Hey man, we're gonna we're gonna make this wireless soon. So yeah, that's, <laughs> that's that's the, that's, that's the one, next step. Yeah, that's one thing they couldn't do. Yeah, sure. exactly. Yeah, cool. <laughs> great thing about our company yeah. is that our mission statement is stories that matter and, and it it really encapsulates you know like we're all very driven people and we really want to try to make a difference in the world and our method of doing that is through filmmaking okay. and to, to have this group of people that all share the same vision is um, just unparalleled to you know be on a team like that and um, that's why we, I feel like we make really great work is like we're all very passionate about the stuff that we make and it's just it's a good time. I came from the Red Epic Dragon, um, I want to say a year and a half ago um, is when we first bought our Venice. Um, Harvey made the plunge, um, we were looking for something that was not going to be outdated very quickly and this was very new to the market. So Harvey, being Harvey, he is a master worker and just knowing people and <laughs> he, he got this Venice really quick and we've been um, avid lovers of this camera ever since. It's just, it's an incredible camera and um, yeah. The the thing is, is like it was, it's such a new platform and a new system that it's tough because when we hire out our DPs, um, most of them are very attached to the Alexa mini system or the Alexa system in general and trying to persuade them and say no like look the, the color is great on it it's really versatile it's a really versatile camera it does a lot for you and um, it's just it's great they're very skeptical most of the DPs that we worked with are very skeptical going into it but I'm pretty sure like everyone except for one that I can think of has really enjoyed the camera and the system so I think we made a good call because it, it has more features than the mini um, yep. people
people might debate on the the color science and like how it, how it renders skin tones and all that but yeah. it works in so many ways for us and how we work you know as we talked about with the van and trailer we have to be ready to get up and go to do anything you know we could do a very big studio shoot one day and then be like a scrappy skeleton crew the next day and we have to make sure that our cameras can accommodate both scenarios and totally. the venice does that superbly so yeah. have a post um, I'm gonna plug Wendy now um, I wrote a, I wrote a blog post on the difference between spherical and anamorphic and in that blog post we talk about a Planned Parenthood series that we made and we had like a variety of different anamorphic lenses on that like each shoot so it would be very tailored to the location so um, we, we had Kawas we had the cooks slow-mos cineo visions and you know, it uh, just having the flexibility to work with those and see the differences on the Venice. I mean, the the sensor's already great, the color is great, and you know, you pair an anamorphic lens to it, and it's just you, you've got a really pretty picture, like right out of the box. The, the thing with the internal NDs and the dual base ISO is like you don't get that on the mini. Yep. And to, to have this these benefits in a high-end cinema camera is huge and to have them done well is huge. Because I mean obviously you have internal NDs in the mini, but you don't have one-stop NDs all the way from 0.3 to 2.4. Yeah. It's nuts having 2.4 stops of ND. Like we've used it a couple times and I think every time we laugh because we're like who would have ever thought that we'd be using it because you know you, you want it, it to be like a little bit more moody, a little darker and in, um, in harsh sunlight and yep. so boom 2.4 ND and you're, you're there but uh, with the mini you always have to carry around like a 0.3 ND yep. and you have to make sure that your matte box is on and it, it, it slows things down a little bit if you just need that like one extra stop but yeah. the Venice is just like boom one click Yep. And then the dual base ISO is amazing. And I, I have noticed that, I mean, this is just my eye. I haven't done any like serious testing, but to my eye, um, there is a little bit more noise in 2500 ISO, yeah. but it's still very clean. We use it all the time and we've used it for entire shoots. Yeah. just straight 2500 and yep. the the final product is gorgeous and having that flexibility is uh is a very 2020 thing to have yeah. now because yeah, you don't have to light yeah. <laughs> it's just use window light and you're you you have a beautiful image and i mean i know a lot of dps just people in general hate on that but it, it makes a good image and if you have a small crew and you're not able to put an 18k out the window yeah. and like you know make sure it's on a condor yeah. and through diff it makes it easier to get really great shots yeah. and really pretty stuff. So, I mean, it, that's why I love it. I mean, you, you just have the modularity of the system in general. Like we talked about the, the Rialto, the, the R7 attachment that allows raw recording. It's just like you, you can, it's four screws to unscrew it and then you remove, I think, four pounds from the camera. Yeah. So if you need a light, lightweight camera and you want to shoot all internal, that still does, I think, I think it does 6K fact check me but um that it still does internal and like it's i think it's eight pounds at that point like it you have the ability to go like i said from like really small dock camera um that you're hand holding around to massive studio camera that you can do um uh, techno crane moves with and it's just yeah. like it's it's really um a great system that works for us with its modularity because yeah. it's just it can be whatever we need it to be
That's a wrap. Okay, so that pretty much wraps it up for this shoot tonight. It's getting pretty dark and I'm out of questions to ask Kobe. So if you liked that video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more weekly content. And if you want to see any of the stellar advertising work that Windy Films has done over the past couple of years, make sure you check out their website. I put the link in the description below so you can see all of their awesome work and even read a couple of blog posts, some of which that Kobe has written. All right, everybody, see you later.